Hey everyone, this is Ryan from AltaUnity.com and in this video, I'll be announcing the two winners of my speaking cases giveaway that I did in partnership with our sponsor Craytouch and you can visit them at craytouch.com for accessories on many many different mobile devices. So if you have a mobile device and you're looking for a high quality accessory such as a screen protector or a case, be sure to head over to Craytouch to see if they have accessories available for your device. So uh, we teamed up and we decided to give away two Spigen SGP cases for the Samsung Galaxy S3. And the two prizes were the Spigen Ultra Bumper, a $21.99 uh, value. It was in the color series and lime green model. And we also decided to give away the SGP Argos leather case, a genuine leather case, which is a $39.99 value and it's in black. And so from the um, judging from the prizes, there's a total of two winners. Now, the winners have not been chosen yet. I'm going to do that live here in this video in case anyone is suspicious of who won and um, who really won. So um, I'm going to do it here live in this video to, uh, you know, make sure that no one, uh, you know, uh, ends up being suspicious and causes some uh, scandalous uh, giveaway. So I'm going to do this live here on this video so that everyone can... Uh, see for themselves that the uh, results were um, not fabricated and these were all legitimate. So before I get into who won and uh, or how I'm going to choose the winner, here are the rules that you had to follow. So uh, you had to follow Create Touch on either Twitter or Facebook, uh, one or the other. If you didn't do, um, if you didn't follow them on Twitter or Facebook, you were um, disqualified. And so your name most likely won't show up when I show the list of uh, entrants. And so you have to follow them on one network or the other. And if you followed them on one, that was one entry. If you follow them on both, that was two entries towards the contest. And you must also have subscribed to my YouTube channel. And that's a must rule. And as such, you uh, would, um, for most people, if you follow this rule, um, you would have ended up with three more entries and you must have also filled out the form to this form to validate your entry and this is a Google Docs form and it wasn't you know hard or anything um, it was just pretty much filling out your name uh, your Twitter handle your Facebook handle and um, pretty much that was it that's all I was asking for and uh, a lot of people found not only this but pretty much the um, the whole combination of doing all of these to be way too hard for a giveaway and I mean it's definitely not uh, the most easiest way to enter a giveaway uh, I will admit but here's the thing if you if I didn't make the rules like this because I don't have like an expensive you know uh, contest um, system where I can hire a few people to you know go through everything and validate everything I don't have that kind of uh, those kinds of resources so uh, you know I need to do all uh, I need people to do all these requirements in order to uh, get rid of cheaters uh, invalid entries and etc so um, it may seem like a lot but um, you know it honestly it really wasn't too hard or I don't think what I was asking for was too hard a lot of people complained that this um, was too much work and uh, honestly um, it really wasn't too much work and uh, even if it was I only did this because um, I wanted to make sure that the entries were valid uh, filling out this form uh, I was able to quickly and uh, very efficiently um, go through the entries eliminate all the invalid ones and just quickly compile everything so um, I did it to make choosing the winner first of all much more easier for me and I also did it to, um, you know, diminish any way of cheating. So uh, it, it may seem like a lot of guidelines to abide by at first, but in the end, I feel like um, it's very necessary uh, for those who participated because if you participate in a giveaway, uh, it really wouldn't be fair for you or the others who participated if there was one low life who decided to cheat and make numerous accounts and etc. cetera. So, um, Doing this system, I was able to quickly uh, get rid of any duplicates, and etc. So I think it was a very necessary, um, or these rules were very necessary, 
you know, making everything work and uh, proper. So uh, that's my reasoning in case you were wondering. And uh, an optional rule was to follow me on Twitter. Um, you didn't have to do this, uh, hence the optional. And so this was two extra entries if you did. And the contest was supposed to end when Create Touch accumulated, uh, accumulated 200 likes on their Facebook. At the time of this writing, they were at 168 or 700 followers on their Twitter. And as of that writing, um, they were at 658 followers. Or when my YouTube channel reached 100 subscribers, uh, when I wrote this, I was at uh, 67. And uh, the goal that was met and the reason why this giveaway um, now did end was the goal of Create Touch accumulating 200 likes on their Facebook. So um, they got past 200 likes. Um, and so because of that, I uh, closed the giveaway, cut off any late entries. And uh, I know someone posted a uh, late, um, there's this comic here on the very, very end uh, from uh, this person here. So unfortunately I did have to cut your entry off but, uh, you know, we're going to have more giveaways uh, next time, so just be sure to stay tuned. And uh, so, yeah, those were all the things you needed to do. And so um, here, there were a number of 46 different entrants. And according to what you did, I entered um, your name uh, different amounts of times depending on the different amount of entries you did by either following Twitter on Facebook or Twitter or both, or following me on Twitter. So everything you did um, is all accounted for here. And so um, to make you know your extra entries, I put your name in multiple times depending on what you did. And uh, I'll go through slowly here to make sure or show you guys um, for everyone who entered all your names and entries. So. Um, Pretty much, if you didn't fill out this form, um, you weren't even included here. Uh, I pretty much gathered everyone from this form. So if you didn't fill it out, but you did anything else, um, I'm very sorry. But uh, please read the rules next time. So just going to uh, quickly or somewhat moderately quickly go through all of these. And at any moment you see your name, you can just pause the video. So 46 different entrants, but um, obviously you can see here that there weren't actually, uh, you know, just 46 entries. There were quite a few. So those are all the all the names right there. And so how I'm going to choose the winner is um, first what this here does. This is random.org and this is a list randomizer. So pretty much what this is going to do is randomize all the lines. Um, a line in this case will be considered just a name of a, a person. And all these lines are just going to be scrambled up and randomized. Now normally a person would just choose the top um, number one and number two for the winners. Um, but uh, I found at times that random.org isn't really too reliable. So what I'm going to do to make it really random is after I randomize this, I'm going to choose a random number or two random numbers to choose the winners of the two cases. So it may sound pretty complicated at first, but when you see the video, you'll understand. So all the entries here, we're going to click randomize. And so you can see here that all the names were randomized, right? And normally a person would just choose the top two winners. Uh, what I'm going to do though is, uh, and if, I'm very sorry, but if you were one of the top two here, um, I'm very sorry, but um, hey, you might actually still win, so you never know. But um, you can see here there's one to 240 different, uh, 243 entries, or a number of um, different entries. Um, there's 46 entrants, but um, depending on your extra entries, and everyone's extra entries, the total number of entries were 243. And so using random.org again, what I'm gonna do to choose the first winner, and the first winner is going to win the uh, the ultra bumper, I'm going to do a true random number generator. So minimum is one, and the maximum number is 243. And this is 
essentially going to choose a number from 1 to 243. And whatever number comes out, I'm going to go to that number here. So if, let's say the number was 56, I would go to line 56 here, 56, and uh, this person would be the winner. And uh, so that's how this is going to work. So I'm going to generate a number, and the number is 85. So that's the first winner, 85. And the winner is Jeff Chenault. And uh, Jeff Chenault is the winner of the uh, Speaking Ultra Bumper. And the second winner, 110. The second winner is Diogo Antonio Aruajo Casamito. Uh, I'm very sorry, I can't really, I'm not really sure if I even pronounced that correctly, but uh, that is the second winner of the contest. And this person wins the um, the the Spigen Argos uh, Genuine Leather Case for the Galaxy S3. And so there you guys have it. Those were the two winners. Diogo Antonio Araujo, Casamito, and 85, where's 85? Uh, Jeff Chenault. So those are the two winners. And what I'm going to do to notify them is um, hopefully if they watch this video, they can just notify me. But... I'm going to um, get their Twitter handle from my list and uh, Facebook and uh, contact them, contact them uh, whichever way is applicable. So there you guys have it. Uh, here's a video for me choosing a winner and uh, just going through everything once again. And uh, thank you guys all for participating in this giveaway. I'm going to be doing uh, a bit, a few more giveaways uh, soon. And so uh, just be sure to stay tuned to uh, my website um, or just follow me on Twitter and uh, hopefully most of you guys did and so if you followed me on Twitter uh, just stay tuned and I'll announce it and uh, yeah so we're gonna go from there I hope you guys enjoyed this video the contest and uh, just be sure to stay tuned and I'll see you guys all next time